To save both time and effort in building the environment for pedestrians, you can also import a geometry. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to place geometry or an image file at the background and import the necessary elements for your environment. Pedestrian Dynamics not only allows you to create an environment from scratch, but also automatically build it using an imported CAD or City GML geometry. When you are building from scratch, a drawing can be useful as a visual reference. Many image types are supported, but preferably use a vector image file. Also, when you import a CAD or City GML, the first step is to add it as a background image to the height layer. Double click the border to adjust the settings of the layer. Click Browse to select a background. The Resource Manager opens. You first need to add the image to the Resource Manager. Browse to select your geometry. I select a shopping mall geometry. A window opens in which you can select the layout you want to use of the CAD file and also allow you to set, scale, or translate the image. Select the imported image and click OK. I enable the visualization in 2D and 3D. Part of the shopping mall geometry is visible. I drag the height layer to overlap the image. I can now use the CAD import tool that can be found on the modeling page. The tool only opens for the active height layer. It also only opens if this layer has a CAD background image. If you have a second height layer, use the layer panel to set the active layer. The active layer is indicated with the blue bar. I can now open the CAD import tool. It allows you to do multiple imports with different settings for a selection of CAD layers. If and how a CAD entity is imported depends on the settings. This approach gives you enormous flexibility while keeping the form lean. Click Change CAD Settings to select the CAD layers to import. You can multi-select the layers and disable them. Select the layers you need for import. Keep in mind you want your environment as simple as possible. Here I import the wall, window, and column layers. In this case, and in most cases, you want to import the CAD entities as obstacle elements. Other settings in the CAD Import tool allow you to set an import condition, such as the size and whether or not a line is solid. The post-processing settings determine how a CAD entity is imported. For example, are different CAD entities combined as one element? You can see the result in 2D and 3D. After adding two entry exit areas, you can see the agents walking in the environment. Here you see the result with a few more activities and adjusted activity routes. In this case, it was not necessary, but it is possible to do another import with a different selection of CAD layers and import these elements, for example, as walkable areas. The second floor is also visible in the top left of this drawing. If you only want to import this part of the drawing, you only have to adjust the bounding box of the height layer. When you have imported a CAD, be aware that elements are locked and cannot be deleted or moved in that state. Select the element and click Unlock to be able to make any changes. If you have a City GML, you can also use it to automatically build the environment. You also place it as a background of a height layer and it is immediately converted to obstacles. In all cases, you can make changes to an imported geometry, either by modifying imported elements or adding new elements to the environment. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.